So this is something that you guys have probably heard or seen with our product, airlock prevention. Um, it's, it's inherent with any bottom intake design pump. We have a little airlock uh, station back there that, that shows exactly what happens when you put a pump with a bottom intake design into a pit of water. And the best way to describe that is if you had a cup and a bucket of water and you took that empty cup and you put it inside the bucket of water, you're gonna get an air bubble on top. And that air bubble happens when you put a bottom suction intake design pump into a pit with water in it, you get an air bubble. And if that air bubble can't escape, that impeller's turning in air and it can't prime itself and it just, we get all, all kinds of calls saying, I hear the pump running, it's not pumping anything. And generally what happens is it's an airlock. Now we put a little discharge in the pump itself, that's the first thing that clogs, unfortunately. In our uh, installation instructions and in about 10 other places, we asked the plumber to drill that 3 16th inch vent hole between the discharge of the pump and the bottom of the check valve. And generally, it's best to um, drill that maybe at a, an angle so that it's spraying back down. You don't want to do it the other way so it's spraying up at you because it will spray some water out of it. But that, that's what it's supposed to do. And that little hole you'll see when you go to that station keeps the pump from air locking. So when you get that phone call saying, I just bought a pump and I can hear it run, but it's not pumping anything, ask them if they drilled that vent hole. 99 times out of 100, that's what they didn't do, and that's why they fail. And you can see what happens after just a short amount of time with that little vent hole that we put in there. It just gets clogged with something or rusts or whatever. So that's why we ask you to do that.